Hello, this is Johnny Boy. I'm going to demonstrate my SOG AI, how to command your squad AI via the wheel menu. But first, you need a squad. So at the beginning of the cam campaign missions, you gear up and you head to the helicopters. When you're near the helicopters and have a little room around you, you want to pick a group to spawn. Now, I think this adds great replayability to those missions because you've got all these really cool groups to choose from. You know, you want Army Grunts, Arvin Rangers, SEAL Platoon. If you're really studly, you pick a six-man team. And so it'd be six men plus you. So it'd be a seven-man team. Um, I think I'll go with some uh, SEALs today. From five. So now i got a SEAL team. It takes about a minute for, these things, for the scripts to uh, initialize. You'd board the chopper and fly into your uh, LZ. So you hit... Once you're out of the chopper, you want to start commanding your team. And uh, I can do these missions using the wheel menu 90% of the time and not using the vanilla AI commanding keys. And if you do that, the advantages are, one, immersion, because you're going to see hand signals given for uh, every command. Such as... Ready up. And you see that they pass the hand signal down the line. You also notice he's in the stealth uh, whisper voice, because we're moving through the jungle we don't want to make a lot of noise if I fire a shot I'd go into loud voice mode because they think it's combat stop actually that was a suppressed shot if I fired a loud shot let's see what kind of weapon I got here yeah this is a loud gun ready up yeah anybody fires a loud shot enemy or anybody on the team then you're in loud combat mode if nobody fires a shot full at full minute then the voice goes back to the soft voice or we can go into full-blown stealth mode and there's no talking at all. I'll show that in a minute. Let's go through these commands. Stop. Freeze. Pass the hand signal down the line. Follow me. Ready up. So you're gonna, this is common, yeah, especially you're going through the jungle and you want to move slow and quiet. And they'll follow you good. They'll also copy your stance. So if you're crawling over a mountain, I don't have to tell them all to get down because you don't want a skyline. So all these scripts are intended to minimize micromanaging the AI, which is what makes the AI a pain in the ass. So that was follow. We have a move there command. Wherever I look, the center of the circle, they're going to arrive there in a circle. And they're going to run every time, even under fire, which we'll see later under combat. Move up. Now, because I didn't look at a place on the ground, the max they'll go in that direction is 200 meters, and uh, they will arrive in formation. But one key for them to moving fast is a script actually took over and gave them independent moves so that they're not trying to maintain formation while they run, because that's what slows down. One of the things that slows down vanilla AI. You can also redirect them at any time into another direction. So, oh, that, that's Move a on. dangerous direction. Let's go that way. Nope, oh, no, there's Buku VC over there. Let's go that way. Move up. So everybody redirects. They pretty much changed near immediately. Move up. And let's move them back here. They should arrive in formation. So that's not quite like moving at like a shoal of fish. And uh, honestly, if there is combat, one or two units will will delay moving if they're currently engaged. And uh, but it's still a hell of a lot better than vanilla AI. So what did we look at? We had move there, follow me, halt. And uh, this is obvious. Get up. And copy my stance. It'll go through them all. So if they're at stand, and you say, on your feet, you go to stand. Yeah, you want to go down to crouch. Stay low. Go into crouch, and you go all the way down to prone. Dirt. And if you go down one more time, it will go into copy, copy my, my stance. So that kind of, which is kind of the normal one to have. So let's follow. Ready up. All right. You can always use for formations. You can pick any formation in the menu, but in the uh, vanilla menu, and it'll work. From echelon left. But 
And uh, then they'll arrive in that formation if you send them somewhere. But truthfully, I find that in the jungle, in SOG missions, I really only care about From five. file for going through the jungle because you know, the vegetation is too dense, you can't get your team spread out, or file if we're fighting. Nine. So, we'll go back in the fi fire. Righty up. Alright, let's talk about fighting. This is the leapfrog command. So they're going to do bounding overwatch. Half the team will move forward and they will go towards danger and they won't get all hung up with go covering, you know, where one guy, it just takes forever for them to, to, to bound overwatch one, one, one unit at a time. This half the team will go. So at the bottom we have red and we have green. So half the team's going to move, the other half's going to cover and then, and then they switch. So, uh, if, there, if there's enough room, you know, if it's a narrow place, I'll bound overwatch using form file. But if I'm really trying to fight, guys, form line. I like form line, bounding overwatch. Advance, north, 100 Move meters. Up. So team green was the furthest back, so they're going to be the first ones to bound. Move up. And they're in line formation. So team red's bounding forward. If more than half of them arrive at the destination, the next team will start moving. Move up. Green. Move up. So team green's moving up. When two Move are, up. Move up. Uh, team red's moving. They'll do this for 100 meters, and then they'll stop and wait for another command. But they don't have to complete it. You Move can up. redirect them at any Move time. Up. So. There's, there was Buku VC that way. I wanted to redirect the attack, so now they're going to go that way. Move up. Move up. You can stop them. Halt. At any time, they don't have to complete the whole bounding thing. You can bound Advance. that way. South. 100 Move meters. Up. It would be great if we recorded some new voices. Like push up, bound forward, or you know attack. If we're moving, I can use the attack from uh, Arma. But if we're moving towards a lot of enemy, if we're trying to, if we're moving away from enemy, let's say there's too much enemy in the front, so now I want to bound backwards. Advance northwest. We could move. We could yell, have them yell, break contact instead of advance, because the enemy's now behind us. I just think that would add some more immersion if we had some more sounds that we could use. So you're not seeing them actually fight. There's going to be a, a ton of uh, combat video you can watch because I've recorded me playing uh, nearly all the campaign missions where there's they fight through it. Halt! Move up! Move. From fire! Move up! So you can stop the, the uh, leapfrog at any time and use it with the other commands. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'm going to show you the stealth option, which is the last one on the menu. We haven't... Did we talk about... I don't think we talked about Laid Dog. We'll do that first. Follow me. Righty up. So a common uh, Lerps term was Laid Dog, and you want to form a tight circle, defensive circle on the ground and be quiet. Move on. So I just look at a spot, and I give the... I do the circle motion. I'm reusing uh, one of those cool hand signals from Prairie Fire. And notice that we now have formed a tight circle on the ground. The size of the circle changes. If there's only six units in the team, it'll be smaller. If there's 12, it'll be larger. And they're facing out, so they're covering all directions of the compass. That's a very effective defensive position. And if you're trying to let trackers go by or whatever, so that's a lay dog. Move up. Up. So we're still in this uh, soft voice thing. So for true stealth, hold fire. Silence. So I just gave the the hold fire silence uh, hand signal, and now when I give them signals, this is the maximum immersion. You're creeping through the jungle, and it's going to be hand signals only. I'll go stop. No voices were said. 
That was the follow me hand signal. It's passed down the line and they're following me. If I want them to go somewhere, I'll point to that spot. No voice command. Now, if I use the the default Arma, vanilla Arma, move back. You hear them, him talking. So you're not getting maximum immersion if you do that. It's going to still run my fast code though. So in a pinch, uh, I'll forget and use that. But if you try and stay in here, you get maximum immersion. And uh, the other advantage of this, and I, I have a separate video for it, is uh, when you're in the stealth mode, if you look at each unit on the bottom, two through nine, they have that red square, and that means they're holding fire. And uh, in this mode, if I fire a, a uh, suppressed shot, only the non-suppressed, only the guys with suppressed weapons on the team will fire. So you could set up a little ambush of two trackers or three trackers. And when I fire a suppressed round, only the suppressed guys will open up and they'll hose first. So the rest of the team, so you don't go loud unless you have to. Also on chance encounters, if your team, you're in this mode and the team uh, runs into a VC that they didn't know about, the suppressed guys will react first. Unless sh the uh, team perceives that they're onto us or the enemy fires a loud shot or anybody fires a loud shot and then the whole team goes off of hold fire and they all open fire. But if you look at the team right now, I forget who's got the... Uh, suppressed weapons but when I fire this one shot somebody one of those red boxes is gonna go away No, I'm the only one with this non suppressed weapon well anyway I've got a separate video that shows that but there they all went loud now because I fired a loud weapon so nobody's holding fire now and also the commands will be loud again stop and you notice the voice is loud because I fired a loud Ready weapon. up but if I hold fire Tell them to hold fire again, and now we'll go back to silent commanding through hand signals only. So that's it for the wheel menu. There's going to be a separate menu for stealth ambushes and separate, I mean, a separate demo for stealth ambushes and, se and separate combat footage where you see this movement uh, in action under combat conditions. I hope that was helpful.